Hey sure, team, my name's Ben and today we're going to talk about the stretch reflex. The stretch reflex. We have a muscle spindle and when that gets stretched it's going to elicit a stretch reflex. The stretch reflex is the one that the doctor initiates when he hits your knee with the hammer. When the hammer hits your knee it stretches the patella tendon and that stretch is going to stimulate the stretch reflex. So sensory neurons synapse directly with motor neurons which then rapidly excite the muscle fibers of the stretched muscle. Therefore this muscle that's been stretched will contract. At the same time we get afferent fibers also synapsing with interneurons that inhibit motor neurons controlling the antagonist or opposite muscle. So that's reciprocal inhibition. So again, when we get a stretch in a muscle, the, the body is worried that if we overstretch a muscle, then we're going to tear it. The stretch stimulates the muscle spindle, and then the sensory neuron takes that message to the spinal cord, the integration center, and then it sends a efferent message via a motor neuron to the muscle to contract. So the muscle that's on stretch contracts, so now it's no longer on stretch. And at the same time, we get an inhibition or a switch off message going through a motor neuron to the opposite muscle. So if the quadriceps contracts, the hamstring relaxes. Reciprocal inhibition, if I do something and you do something back, that's reciprocating. So reciprocal inhibition is when the quads contracts, the opposite muscle is inhibited or switched off. How does knowing about reciprocal inhibition and the stretch reflex help us as trainers or sports scientists? If we want to lengthen muscle, the first thing that happens if we do an aggressive stretch is we engage that stress reflex. The muscle spindles sense the stretching, the muscle contracts against us and tightens up. So the way to avoid the stretch reflex is to engage a stretch slowly. So that's the first thing. Knowing the stretch reflex means if we ease into a stretch, we're going to get less resistance to it and get a better stretch. The other thing is reciprocal inhibition. If we contract one muscle hard, then the opposite muscle is going to relax or be inhibited. So when performing a stretch, if we want to stretch the hamstrings, if we do a near maximal contraction of our quads, it's going to cause a reflex relaxation of our hamstrings so we can stretch it further. This is an example of PNF stretching. Alright, happy training!